needs a place to call our own. Gonna fill it up with laughter. Write my happy ever after. Cause for the first time in my life, I'm holding the key to a brand new life waiting on me. Gotta welcome my at the front door to my dreams Gonna fill all the rooms with my favorite things This is your bedroom? Yes And that's your bathroom, right? Yes, the master bathroom Master bathroom What makes a house a home? If you really want to know, that's what makes a house a home. Gather all my friends on a Sunday. So, hey, I'm great now. I am just grinning back and washers so that these walls stay in place. Sacrifice, survive, the doors open wide. It's the people inside, the people inside that make a house a home. If you really want to know, that's what makes a house a home. Every time I walk through the door. Because this needs to be one foot from this wall, or otherwise the toilet bowl's never going to fit. And that's going to put that stuff. Now that I see it wall, but I knew it was in the wrong spot to begin with. We're gonna mark that. But we're gonna go ahead and put our wall in the wrong spot because it's gonna make three of the plumber's stuff right and only one thing of ours wrong. And we steal six inches at the dining room. Nobody will know but me and you because we're not gonna tell nobody. And the plumbers are still cool. If you really want to know, that's what makes a house. It's no one that no matter how far you roam. This is a place that you can know that's what makes a house. This is going on. House a home. So glad, so glad, so glad. What makes a house a home? That's what makes a house a home. Personally, I think one of the uh, most important things on the trip is just being surrounded by people that deal with habitat every day and are affected by habitat and have had the chance to use habitat to change their lives for the positive. And really their attitudes when you're down there working with them, uh, gaining these hands-on experiences, they really rub off on you uh, and inspire you to do a little more. I think uh, one of the coolest parts about the habitat trip is you go down uh, not knowing anyone and by the time you come back, you've made so many new friends. I like the last day the best because on the last day we put up the roof on the first day. Or we put up the roof of the house that we started the first day. Yeah. So the first day we got there, it was just the foundation. There was no walls up, nothing like that. And then but by the end of the week, that really had the whole roof on it. Yeah. So I thought that was, to me, that was probably one of the most memorable 
experiences of the trip. It was the first day, because this is a kind of little story, I was, I was the nail guy. I had everyone, when we were hammering up the, the interior walls and they needed nails, they came to me. I just had tons of them in my pouch and I also got to use the nail gun. Uh, it was not just a regular nail gun that you just shoot, it was you put in the nail on the tip, you cock it, and you put in a 22 caliber shell. And for some reason I was the only one that could do it, but that was probably the most fun I had. And after a while, since I was the only one that seemed to do it, actually my palm, my hand started to hurt because I didn't pack the punch, but seeing that nail go through like two inches of wood and then down two inches of concrete was actually pretty fun. Uh, my best moment for construction was probably when they gave me uh, a task to put side wooden things in between the studs on the wall. And for some reason I was the only one that was given this job and it took me about an hour and it still turned out terrible. But they told me I did a great job anyway, even though I did a horrible job and nails were going out of it. How good did you become nailing from the beginning of the week to the end of the week? Pat, Pat. Pat. Um, well, at the beginning I was pretty bad at it. Uh, like, I couldn't really even do it like, at all on the first thing, but like by the end of the day, it got a lot easier.
you can't.